Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous tutorial guys, we have completed table manipulation functions. And now in today's class guys, we will start new category of DAX functions, which are time intelligence DAX functions. These DAX functions are really useful while making reports. And this is the last category guys of our DAX functions. So let's start the class guys. And here are the topics which we are going to cover in today's class. So firstly go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It returns the first date in the current context for the specified column of dates. And here we have just only one parameter which is dates. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So firstly guys I will click here on new measure. And here I will simply write first date. And now I will write my DAX function which is first date. And under date parameter guys I will take order date which is from sales table. And close the bracket and hit enter. And now I will take one card visual from here. And now I will drag and drop this measure here. So here we guys can see. With the help of this first date measure, we can see the first date of our data set, which is 1 1 2022. And now let's go to the sales table and cross check. So here guys, we can see our first date is January 1 2022. So in this way guys, you guys can use this measure, which is first date. And now let's suppose guys, I want to see the sales of this January 1 2022. So let's go to this measure guys and do some changes. So I will take calculate function here and under expression parameter guys, I will take sum of sales column which is from the sales table and close the bracket and put it comma here and now let's hit enter. So here we guys can see our sales is 13k. Let me convert into the actual value. And now cross check. So let me filter this column on January 2022. And now let's calculate the total 9000 plus 4000, which is 13,000, and 13,000 plus 400, which is 13,400. That means our answer is correct. So, in this way, guys, you guys can use this first date DAX function. And now let's move towards the next topic of our today's class, which is last date. So as name suggests guys, it will fetching the data of last date of our data set. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. So it returns the last date in the current context of the specified column of dates. And again here we have just only one parameter, which is dates. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So I will go here and take new measure and let me rename this measure name as last date. And now I will write my DAX function, which is last date. And here under this date parameter guys, I will simply take order date, which is from sales table and close the bracket and hit enter. So here we guys can see our new measure has added. Now let me drag and drop it here and convert into card visual. So here we guys can see the last date of our data set, which is 16, 12, 2022. And now let's cross check. So go to the data view and let me clear the filter first. And now guys, I will sort this date column, which is descending order. So here we guys can see the last date of our data set is 16, 12, 2022. And you guys can see the last day sales, which is 40,500. So if you want to see the last day sales, so you need to wrap up this formula under calculate. So you simply need to go here in last date formula and wrap up under this calculate DAX function. Under expression parameter guys, I will again take sum of sales column, which is from the sales table and close the bracket and put it comma here. And now I will press enter. So here we guys can see our sales is 41k. So if I convert into the actual value. 
so our sales is 40500 which is totally correct so i hope guys now you are clear with the first date and last date dax function and now let's move towards the next topic of our today's class so our next dax function is first non blank so let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first it returns the first value in the column column filtered by the current context where the expression is not blank and here we have just two parameters which is column and expression and now let's understand this concept with practical so go to the power bi desktop and here i have created one table which name is latest so simply go here on data view and here we guys can see we have taken dates column and sales column so here under the sales column guys our first non blank value is second of feb which is 2000 because this is a blank value and this is non blank so this function calculate first non blank cell so let's go to the practical page and apply this dax function so firstly i will go here on new measure and let me rename this measure name as first non blank and now i will write my dax function which is first non blank so here we guys can see we have two parameters column name and expression so under column name guys i will take date column which is from latest table comma and under expression guys i will take sum of sales which is again from latest table and close the bracket and hit enter and now let me drag and drop this measure here and convert into card visual So here we guys can see it's returning 5th of January 2023 and now let's go to this latest table So here guys we can see it's returning this first date which is blank but we have applied first non blank formula So ideally the date should be 2nd of Feb 2023 because this value is first non blank So why this happen so it's because of context transition This is a separate concept guys I will definitely cover in our upcoming videos First non blank functions works under current context If you see here first date guys it is a first context and this date is a second context and this third date is a third context And once we applied this function here then this sum function is aggregating a single value which is total of sales like 200 plus 1000 plus 3000 plus 4000 plus 5000 so because of this sum function guys we cannot get equivalent filter context so we need to wrap up this formula under calculate and once we wrap up this formula under calculate function guys then this first non blank function will work correctly so let's go to the practical page and let me add it this formula so i will simply enter calculate function here and now it's become equivalent filter context and now let me hit enter and now we guys can see our date has changed so our first non blank date is 2nd of feb 2023 which is totally correct so because of context transition guys sum function will not work because it's calculating total values and now let's move towards the last dax function of our today's class which is last non blank so let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first it returns the last value in the column column filtered by the current context where the expression is not blank this is just reverse to the first non blank and again here we have two parameters column and expression so let's go to the power bi desktop and apply this dax function so simply i will go here on new measure and my dax function name is last non blank and again i will write my dax function which is last non blank and under column name parameter guys i will take date column which is from latest table comma and under expression guys i will take sum of sales which is from latest table and close the bracket and hit enter so here is our measure guys so let me drag and drop it here and put it into card visual 
So here we guys can see it returning the last date of our data set which is September 10, 2023 and this date is blank. So here we guys can see September 2023 is blank as well as 11th of August 2023 is also blank. Although it should be returning 25th of July 2023 which is 5000. So as I already told you guys because of context transition this last non-blank function will not work. So we need to wrap up this formula under calculate. So simply go here on formula bar and put it calculate dax function here and hit enter. Now guys this formula has correct. So here we guys can see our last non-blank value is 25th of July 2023 which is totally correct. So in this way guys you guys can use this all these dax function. So I hope guys now you are clear with all the dax function of our today's class. So do more practice and explore more yourself and stay connect with us and kindly support this channel. And if anyone wants to learn free Power BI from scratch, so here we have this free YouTube channel guys, which name is Power BI Full Course by Shubham. And under this 50 tutorials guys, I have explained each and every concept in detail. And those who are visit first time on this channel, please kindly hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to press this bell icon guys, else you will miss an update. And for the job seekers guys, we have this free telegram group, where I am keep posting latest Power BI jobs openings. And you will also find some latest interview questions and answers. So you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and trainings. But if you still think you require paid training sessions guys, so I am also providing one on one paid training sessions. And from day one class guys, I prepare for you interview rounds and some advanced scenarios. So you guys can connect me on LinkedIn or Telegram channel. Both the links are given under the description box. And for the free learners guys, we have this free YouTube channel. So keep learning and keep growing. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you so much.